Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can write a MATLAB program. Let's get started. Take a look at that. Now, if I come up here to the menu and there's a new script, and there's also new, and then I click on that and I can go to script. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a new script. A script means a program, basically. Now what that does is it creates this editor window, and in the editor window I can place all my commands and they don't get run until you know you run you run the thing in this simple example I am going to calculate the surface area of a cylinder I'm gonna give it a comment this program calculates the surface area of a cylinder whoops okay now, think about if you were to calculate the surface area of a cylinder, what would you need? You would need the radius of the cylinder and the height of the cylinder. So, I'm going to write a function that accepts the radius and the height of the cylinder and then returns the area. To start my function, I'm going to type the keyword function. Notice it lights up in blue, meaning that's a keyword in MATLAB. This is different than Python. Python started with the keyword def. Then, also different in Python, I'm going to put the outputs of my function in square brackets. This function is only going to calculate the area, so I'm just going to put area like that. If I had multiple outputs, I would comma, comma delimit them inside the square brackets. Then I'll put equals, and then I'll give my function a name. How about my cylinder? Like this. Then open parentheses and then I will list the inputs, comma delimited again. I'll give it area first, or not area, sorry, radius first, height second. Or you could do it the other way. This function header is the most important part of the function. It's very different than Python's function header, so you'll want to get used to this. But this structure does not change when you write functions. It always has this skeleton to it. Now I'll hit enter and you'll notice that it does not indent. Indenting in MATLAB is optional, but I highly encourage it for reasons why um, you, you should already understand from Python. In C it's required, uh, is C required? No. But uh, some, some uh, programming languages require the indentation. And so um, I really recommend that you indent even though you don't have to in MATLAB. So we'll indent and we'll, we'll say, well, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, I can calculate the bottom or the top area by pi dot times radius dot caret squared, like this, semicolon, because I don't want that command to be echoed back. Again, this is an engineering software, and MATLAB already knows what pi means. Pi is 3.14159. All right, the next thing I might want to do is calculate the surface area of the side. So the side has a circumference, or the, you know, the area has a, circ or, sorry, the top and the bottom have a circumference of 2 dot times pi dot times radius, right? So that's the circumference, and then multiply that by height, and that gives you the surface area of the side of the cylinder. Then, our final calculation would be to take the sides area plus then two times the, um, the bottom or the top because this is, well, we're assuming this is a closed cylinder, so it, it has a bottom and it has a top. So uh, we have to multiply that by two, dot times two, like that. All right, I'm putting semicolons on after every command here just because I don't want any of this you know, these calculations to be echoed back to me. Now, I will put in the keyword end there, which is required. All right, I'm putting end because uh, that's going to signify that that's the end of the function. Okay, now, the next thing we need to be aware of is that, kind of backwards from Python, the functions in a MATLAB script go towards the bottom. I need to put my, my main program up top and then my functions. So what am I going to do with this thing? How about, let's set r equal to 2, like the radius, and then the height equal to 3. And with those values, we can call my cylinder. We'd say a equals my cylinder 
r comma h right semicolon and then we'll we'll print something we'll say um well f print f is the command that we use in matlab it's not just print it's f print f then we'll say the area of the cylinder is maybe a backslash n right and then we will print the contents of a but uh, we we can't do f print f a like this it turns out that won't work when you want to print the contents of a variable you have to use the disp short for display function disp a like that the function works the same even though the syntax is different as in python what happens here is r is 2 so you can think of this as 2 h is 3 you can think of that as 3 so r gets sent when we call the function r gets sent to radius so now radius is 2 height is 3 it performs these calculations and ends up with the calculation for area which we've said since we've said in the function header is to be returned returns back and we decided to save that value as a we're assigning its output to a then we print these things and we display a all right let's let's check it out first we need to save it so I'm going to go up to save and I'm going to save this thing as my first MATLAB program save all right I'm on the desktop that's my current working directory and inside the desktop now is this uh, file my first MATLAB program dot m now you'll notice when you compare this to the the uh, previous videos where when we looked at data files uh, the icon is different you notice this icon as as compared to a data file and also the extension is different this has got an extension dot m the data file had an extension dot mat m a t that's because they're different things this is a script with commands that can be run in the previous videos we saw the dot mat file was a data file that can be loaded in those are two different things two different extensions two different icons all right so now that it's in my current working directory I can uh, I can run this thing I can just click this run button and you see in the console then the area of the cylinder is and then I've got uh, 62.8319 so that's the area of my cylinder and I can change this right I can change it from 2 maybe maybe 10 a radius of 10 and maybe a height of like 2 let's say I can control s save it again run it now the area of my cylinder is 753.9822 excellent okay now here is the power of MATLAB this is something that Python would not do easily let's say I have multiple cylinders whose area I want to calculate in Python I would have to create a loop to do this in MATLAB I can just put all the radii and the heights in an array for example let's say I had three cylinders whose area I wanted to determine the first cylinder had a radius of two so I'll put two in square brackets the second cylinder had a radius of maybe four so I'll put four there comma and maybe the third cylinder had a radius of like 3.1 I'm leaving off units here but you get the idea now the first cylinder maybe has a height of 10 the second cylinder might maybe has a height of 8.5 and the third cylinder maybe has a height of 3.4 all right let me control s save that and let's run it see what happens and bam we've got the area of the cylinder is we've done all three calculations without really making any changes to our function that is a nice thing we don't have to loop through each cylinder to calculate its area awesome right. okay so in this video uh, we you know we showed how to write a basic program in MATLAB now in the, in the subsequent videos we're going to show how we can uh, use if statements and for loops to control the flow of our code while loops as well so I will see you there thanks